as the name defines data architect what comes in your mind architecting something designing something right so what are we designing here data as the name defines right so hey there this is akshay nandan welcome back to a new video in this video we are going to understand the work of a data architect how can you become a data architect what salary average salary you can expect as a beginner in data architecture field right so let's begin with first understanding the job right what is data architect so when we talk about an architect what comes in your mind the person who designs a blueprint of a building right or the person who designs the architecture of a building right this is a simple definition of work of an architect but when we talk about data architect as we have put a prefix called data in front of architect here we are designing the blueprints of data the schemas so if you remember in your engineering uh, in the third year if you had dbms subject right database management system and you like that subject very much then you are a fit person for a data architect role right and also one more thing that don't get confused with data architect as a single job role there are multiple job roles in data architect too you can be a cloud architect you can be a data miner right so if you want me to put this uh, as a definition then i can say that data architects are the it professionals or computer engineers who use their designing and computer science skills to design the infrastructure of the data in an organization right so this is the complete definition of the work that you are searching for data architect let me explain it in layman terms let's say uh, your company is building a e-commerce solution right so what happens in an e-commerce solution there will be some products there will be some users there will be some shop owners right and you know that you have to collaborate all these three types of users on a single platform and the customers will be able to come here buy some products from a shop owner and shop owner has to give that product to the delivery boy delivery boy will come to your house take your sign and deliver you right so this is the complete process that is happening but in this process there is a lot of data processing that is happening you need to have good schemas that one shop owner should not have the access of another shop owner's products right you cannot sell someone else product right so there are some of the boundaries there are some of the conditions that you need to put there are some of the access variables that you need to define the boundary variables that you need to define right so you need to design a schema for this complete solution the complete e-commerce solution in the same way if you are designing a social media application social media solution then you should not be able to like in place of someone else so there will be some other type of data schema that you need to define so not just designing the data structures is a work but but translating business requirements into databases data warehouses is also the work planning of the data schemas and metadata analyzing the structure of the data developing and maintaining apis to extract data from a resource is also the work researching about a solution to get more data to fetch more data collaborating with other teams and with other stakeholders to make more data centric decisions is also the work of a data architect now what technical skills you should have to become good data architect data mining and knowledge of some good programming languages called python scala r are some of the skills then machine learning big data analytics data science and uh, some of the tools tableau and power bi erwin visio are some of the data modeling tools that uh, if you know is a very good thing most important skill that you should have is a knowledge deep knowledge of sql right if you have worked with mysql or postgresql then it's a very good thing and that's adds a very good weightage to your resume for a data architecture field right what non technical skills you should have obviously you should have good communication skills because without communication skills you won't be able to communicate with other teams and other stakeholders right data presentation skills your statistics skills problem solving skills machine learning skills time management skills are some of the skills non technical skills that you can have to become a good data architect now if you want me to uh, like put a process to become a data architect what can that be so first of all it's good that you have a degree in computer science or computer engineering right or in any it field then do some internships in data field or take some roles as a machine learning intern in a company or you can have a internship in data analysis data science then after working for one year or two years try to get some good certifications right then apply for cloud architect or data architect field now finally talking about the salary so it's around 118000 average according to glassdoor if you have around 2 years of experience right you cannot become a good data architect 
without having good experience like one to two years of experience you can become obviously it's totally up to your skills but you should invest some of your initial years after getting a degree in understanding the data modeling and data architecture right after that you can expect above $115,000 in USA and it's around 16 to 17 LP average in India after having a good experience of two to three years right so this was the knowledge about data architect I hope you like this video it must have added some value to your tech journey. Till I stand and keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.